actorphotorex.tv. I'm Toby, and I've got my good friend, Steve Scourge, here. And we happen, two, two things just coincide at the same time. One, we're in West Yellowstone leading a photography workshop. And two, DGI sent to me uh, a few days ago. Let's see. This. There you go. There. This is the new DJI FPV drone. And I want to spend just a few minutes talking about it. Because of the workshop and the timing, it wasn't possible to get out a completed video. But I thought it'd be fun to sit here in cold West Yellowstone. It, it was one degree when we walked out of the hotel this morning. Um, and we, share a little bit about this. Are we going to address your forehead? My forehead? What's wrong with it? <laughs> it's awesome. So, yes, this drone is different than all other drones that DJI has released. And it's a hybrid drone that's trying to do something different. And, and I think it's safe to call it revolutionary. Now, don't get me wrong, that doesn't mean it's perfect or it's for everybody. But in a lot of ways, I do believe this is a revolutionary product from DJI. And I'm excited to talk about it. I have been flying it for the last week as much as possible. Um, so, yeah. Let's jump in and talk a little bit about this drone. And one of the things, Steve's got a couple of jobs today that he's gonna do. One, he's gonna take some behind the scenes pictures. He's gonna mm -hmm. post those on Instagram. You can follow him. He is linked right down below this video. So you should follow him for fantastic photography that he does anyway. Wow. And he's got a cute puppy with an adorable <laughs> yeah. picture. Who so. demands meatloaf from time to time. But go <laughs> to my Instagram and you'll understand what I mean. Yeah. So uh, check that out. He also is going to be monitoring chat. So if you have questions, throw them in there. I'm going to keep this video fairly short, despite this, this chit chat at the beginning, uh, because, well, as I said, it's one degree and we have to get back and lead a photography tour a little bit later this morning. Um, he's also going to monitor. Did I say that already? You're going to monitor the chat for questions. So yeah. if you have questions uh, while you're watching this right now, throw them in the chat, please, and we'll answer them. If you're not watching this live and you have a question, uh, I will be completing a more thorough recorded review of this soon. So please leave those in the comments and I will do my best to answer them as we go. So what is the DJI FPV? Well, you, for $12.99, you get this drone, which DJI is describing as a hybrid style drone. We'll talk about what that means in a minute. You also get a controller. It looks a little like a DJI, typical DJI controller, smooshed up with maybe an Xbox or PS5 controller. Yeah, you think? Notice, notice there is no place to stick a phone. That's because the other thing that comes in this package is this, the goggles. And everything is done through the goggles. Starting and stopping recording, although there is a button for that on here too. Um, the visualization of what you see and the goggles are really important when you're talking about this style of drone. See, up until this point, DJI has been releasing these drones where you take off and you fly very smooth cinematic flights. And that's been great for me as we travel and do workshops and I want to capture some of the footage of what we're, where we are and what we're seeing. It is awesome to be able to put a drone up to the air and to get that perspective and to show you guys that perspective. Those drones typically aren't much fun to really fly though. They're kind of slow and I'm not gonna say they're unresponsive, but they are not meant to be flown like fighter jets. I mean, every once in a while somebody tries and then I get an email that says, hey, I crashed my drone into the side of my house. Um, they're just not that much fun to fly. And if you've been paying attention in the drone world recently, you've known that there's been a type of kind of uh, cinematography that is really, really popular now from drones. And it's this kind of first person view where the drone is so maneuverable and small enough that you can fly it through a vehicle. You could fly it through somebody's house. They're being used for real estate um, kind of walkthroughs. It's not typical, but that's one of the examples. But more often than not, people are flying them through forests, weaving in and out of trees, up high above, diving down along cliffs. I mean, doing really, really cool stuff. But I think what a lot of you, yeah. Sorry to interrupt. We've got a question from John, mm -hmm. and he wants to know. He's never used VR goggles before. Wants to know: uh, Can I, an eyeglass wearer use this thing efficiently? Yes. On the bottom of them are two adjustments, so you can control the distance um, from your eyes to focus. And I think that's going to work with most eyeglasses as well. Good question. Thanks, John. Thanks, Steve. Yep. 
Um, those, those really kind of swoopy cinematic movements, though, are with drones that are hard to fly. Uh, they don't have GPS. They don't have altitude hold, many of them. Uh, they are completely 100% reliant on you to tell them what to do and where to go. And if for a moment you're distracted, your drone's going to crash. Now, a lot of those drones are pretty sturdy, and they can withstand that kind of uh, abuse. DJI, with this drone, aims to do something different, and that is provide a drone that is easy to fly in a couple of the modes, but also gives you that incredible manual-like FPV experience where you can do all the little swoopies and swoopies that you want. And yes, I will take this drone off and, and fly it a little bit uh, while this video is going. So if you're bored of me standing here holding it, hold on. So um, it's got three modes. It's got a normal mode. It flies like every other Mavic, maybe a little twitchier and a little bit faster is my experience. Then there's a sport mode where you still get some of the goodies from DJI, like when you let go of the sticks on the remote, it's just gonna hold still in place. Um, and, but it's fast and it will descend much faster than a regular uh, DJI Mavic drone to give you that kind of uh, much more swoopy experience. And it's top speed in that mode is almost 60 miles an hour. That's, that's getting fast. That's faster than all the other um, kind of standard off the shelf Mavics. Then there's manual mode. I haven't flown manual mode yet. I, I tried it for a moment, it scared me. Because I have never flown these FPV drones before and manual mode, it does become completely on you. So when I switched it to manual mode the other day, uh, it started to feel like it was falling out of the sky. So I switched it back. And that is exactly why this drone is revolutionary and interesting. You have a drone that can be very easy to fly, get some awesome shots, but then as you grow and become a better pilot, you can switch it into manual mode. What DJI has coming is a virtual flight simulator for FPV flying that you can practice with. And once you get comfortable with that, it's not out yet. And so there's big warnings in the goggles when you switch to manual mode that you really should have tried that first. You have to do a special thing with the sticks as well. So we'll try that soon. But here is a better, closer look at the remote. Again, it's kind of the standard idea. And on the back here, we have this switch for normal, sport, and manual mode, right there. You've also got your photo and uh, recording there. You can start and stop recording and switch between photo and recording on the goggles as well. And there's a little joystick on the top of the goggles that allows you to control some of your basic settings in that. It does have obstacle avoidance and downward facing sensors. It also has ADBS, ADB-S, that's here on West Yellowstone, it might sound like some airplanes are coming, but those are snowmobilers. Um, there are no flying airplanes, but when I fly this near my house and there's a couple of airports off in the different directions, uh, it actually warns you and points in the direction of piloted aircraft. So that's pretty cool. Um, and of course it has all of those fun features like return to home. So if you get disoriented out there, you're not sure where the drone is anymore, you can literally just push a button and it's gonna fly back to you and land. All pretty cool stuff. The camera, 4K, 60p, uh, capable of also 1080 at 120p for some fun slow-mo. The camera quality is very good. It's 120 megabytes per second. Um, again, this isn't the drone you want to buy, though, if you uh, uh, want the absolute best photo and video quality. This is the drone you want to buy if you want that kind of cinematic, swoopy style footage. So keep that in mind. One other thing to keep in mind is that you and people are likely going to crash this. So they've made this more modular. The top plate can be replaced, the arms can be replaced, and DJI will actually sell those so you can do those replacements on your own. Like most of DJI products, uh, most of DJI Mavics, the uh, massive amount of weight of this drone is the battery. This is a chunky battery, it's heavy, uh, and because of the power in this drone, even though it does have this chunky battery, you do only have a 20 minute flight time. But it makes a very cool sound when you start it up. So I'm gonna start it up. I'm gonna put it down over here and we'll adjust the camera in just a second. 
goggles, and I'm turning the remote on now, too. I'm going to check my notes real quick and see what else I wanted to hit, but I'm going to take off. I don't have any way to uh, live stream the flying yet. So if you look down below this video, I have linked a clip where I've just put up a few more shots of the drone and then some shots that I've uh, captured over the last couple of days. So you can go watch that. I think I hit all of the things that I really wanted to um, that are important. Yeah. Uh, and here are the negatives. I've kind of touched on some of them already. Uh, one is it's a chunky drone and it doesn't fold. You saw that. Uh, it's bulky and even the propellers don't fold. So you have that limited 20 minute, 20 minute flight time uh, and the fact that really the goggles are the only way you're gonna be easily flying this. I think there's gonna be some options for connecting your phone. Actually, you can connect your phone now for firmware updates, but there's gonna be some options for kind of sharing, streaming out from your goggles to uh, viewers as well. And uh, I said it's already kind of big. I think the biggest competitor to this is the Beagle drones. If you go Google Beagle drones, they have some really cool little cinematic drones and the prices are a lot less than $12.99. But what you have to realize is they don't come with their own goggles. They also don't have any of that GPS built in. Uh, so uh, those are all on you. This is the first first person drone to have these kind of safety and easy to fly features. I just saw a question pop up, what's its top speed? In sport mode, I said 60 miles per hour. In manual mode, it is almost 90 miles per hour. And I wanted to say one more thing. Um, it was really nice of Steve to come out and help me. I told you his Instagram is linked right down below. Legally, you always need two people to fly this drone too, though. That's the truth of legally in the US because, there he is, he's still here, he's still watching. Because when you put the goggles on, you are actually supposed to always have somebody whose eyes are on the drone, not just seeing through the drone. That's the U.S. drone law. It's the drone law in most of the developed world. So you do need to keep that in mind. Um, I think we'll point this down at the drone. There it is. Do you want me to hold that, hand hold that and film you? Would that be better? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. You could hold it right here. We're just going to take this off. There we go. Just like that. Yeah, perfect. Um, Thanks. Problem is, I can't, I can't see what I'm yeah, filming. Yeah, you can't see what he's doing now. Perfect. You got it. Okay. Um, one thing that I'll show you is to take off. All Mavic products allow this, but most of the time people just use their phone because there's a push button. But you push both sticks down and center. And that turns the blades on, and now it's ready to go. Vince said I look like a giant bug. I sent a picture to my mom. She said the same thing, Vince. You guys are on the same page. John Drummond can't fold it, can't take it on its plane unless it's own case. That is true. Um, I believe DJI or third parties will start selling something soon that, that you can put it in. Right now, I've been keeping it in a shoulder bag with most of the inner compartments uh, in. So I have a beautiful view of what it sees. And one of the things that I didn't say is these goggles are digital. Most of the time with FPV drones, they're analog for that really uh, quick latency, low latency. DJI has done a nice job here and giving you a really clean, clear digital feed that is fairly low latency as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off. One of the other things is it's louder than most Mavic drones. And in my goggles, it, when I was pointed at Steve, it was giving me obstacle avoidance. It does see Steve as a big obstacle. As we <laughs> and there is, of course, gimbal control. Right now, I'm in normal mode, top speed. I'm hitting somewhere around 23, 25 miles an hour. It feels, as a longtime Mavic flyer, as somebody who's flown Mavic drones all over the world, um, it feels so incredibly fast. It feels like a Formula One race car, whereas the Mavics feel a little like my, my minivan. And again, I love the other Mavics for the kind of cinematography that you can capture with them. But if you want to have some fun flying and you want to challenge yourself to capture uh, some kind of that cinematic movements in drone, this would be good. All right. I think we're going to end there. This is longer than I already said I was going to go. 
If you appreciated this quick live look, give it a thumbs up. I'm really excited to actually see what DJI has, uh, has sent out. I haven't seen their kind of promo video yet. I imagine somebody in the right hands, this drone is gonna be capable of making some epic, epic footage. So uh, I'm gonna fly it around for just a minute because there's some gorgeous light starting to happen here in West Yellowstone. And uh, thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you appreciate it. Leave comments for questions because as I said, I'll give you an, uh, a more thorough recorded look very soon. And thanks to Steve. His Instagram is right down below this video. You can go follow. He's gonna post some behind the scenes of all of this. Thanks Got everybody. It. Bye bye. Bye. Is that how we end it? I don't know how to end it. Just one Maybe that blooper, button. One for the blooper <laughs> reel. <laughs>